The bunny up is a mythological creature from Australian mythology. It was said to be a water spirit that lived in the Murray River. People described the bunny up in many different ways, but the most common ones resembled seals, dogs, or long-necked creatures with small heads. Supposedly it killed women, children, and livestock that got too close to the water. But instead of talking about the real creature today, I have something else in mind. Introducing the Murray Bridge Bunyip. Built in 1972 by Dennis Neville, the Murray Bridge Bunyip, also known as Bird or Bertha, is a coin-operated animatronic that will rise from below the water and make a really loud roaring sound. The bunny up used to look like this. It's terrifying. His name was Bert until 10 years after the attraction began when bunny up had a baby, which made them rename Bert to Bertha. There are no videos of old bunny up and there are very limited numbers of photos, especially photos with the baby. However, there are still enough photos to see old bunny up start to degrade and rot over time, which just made it even more scary. It also seems that people vandalized the bunny up and the baby quite a lot, along with the speaker that made the roars. Apparently, the speaker got to the point where it would roar all the time, even when Bunyip was still in the water. Because of old Bunyip's appearance, it has become a large part of the submechanophobia community, which is basically a phobia of partially or fully submerged man-made objects, or in this case, animatronics. The Bunyip looked like that until the year 2000, when he was revamped to look more cartoonish and less nightmarish. This one was made out of fiberglass. It still does the same sort of show, but it's quieter and more kid-friendly. Sadly, after the redesign, the baby is nowhere to be found. Over the years, the new bunny up has taken a beating as well, but has been restored each time. On October 23rd, 2017, the bunny up was shut down because it had an oil leak, leaving it and the water surrounding it black and smelly. The Murray Bridge Council said they would spend up to $100,000 fixing it. After they fixed it, the bunny up was no longer coin operated, and instead now uses a button, which makes watching the bunny up now free. Supposedly, it never made enough money to be worth taking the coins. Another change after the repair was so that Bunyip only works during daylight hours. Supposedly, at some point, new Bunyip's hands were missing, although I haven't seen much on it outside of the reviews of the attraction. Alright guys, so as I was sort of working on this video, I have learned something new. Um, it turns out that that review was right. Um, new Bunyip's hands were missing at some point. Um, the video that I found was from 2008, uh, so, uh, yeah. Overall, though, we know a lot more about new Bunyip than old Bunyip. Most likely because of the release of smartphones. We even have a picture of new Bunyip outside of the water. Anyway, the Murray Bridge Bunyip is a pretty neat little attraction, but I still have a few questions. Why did they build the Bunyip? Is Dennis Noel still alive? Where did old Bunyip go? I hope that one day I can answer these questions, but for now, I can't seem to find any clues. If you know anything about any of these things, let me know. But for now, I'm throwing in the towel. Hey guys, sorry if this video is shorter than usual, but these videos are hard to make. If you want to subscribe or check out some of my other content, feel free to do so, and my Twitters are in the description. Bye bye.